Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Asus Zenfone 5 with me and in fact I have been using the Asus Zenfone 4, 5 and even the 6 for some time and the thing is that this Asus uh, Zenfone runs over Android but they use their own skin that is known as the Asus Zen UI. Generally I do not like custom skins but uh, this Asus Zen UI is actually pretty different and it does offer some unique functionality. So here are my top uh, tips and tricks for the Zen UI. And the first thing is, if you just pull, as you can see, we have some notifications, etc. And the way the notifications work on this ASUS Zen UI is a little bit different uh, because if you pull it from the left or if you pull it from the right, it's a little bit different. For example, to uh, get to your notifications, you have to pull it down from the left. Here you access all your notifications. But if you pull it from the right, you get access to all these quick toggles over here. The top four cannot be changed. They are the flashlight. This is for cleaning up the RAM, calculator and quick memo. And uh, But you can customize all of these. For example, if you just hit this icon over here, edit, you can customize these and you can just remove for example, let's say you don't want auto sync option or the SIM one option. You can remove this and you can even toggle them around. For example, let's say I want the GPS here at the top. You can. Uh, move around and you just hit the save and it will be reflected now if I just go back here as you can see it is reflected So I find this very convenient in my opinion if you click here by default You'll go to your default settings now if we talk about the dialer here Also, we do have some options over here again We do have smart dialing with this uh, But if you just click here you get to these uh, other settings and you can also click here to get the dialer in full screen mode like this if you would like and from here i don't have a sim card uh, installed but let me just show you and if you just hit this call here uh, this is grayed out because i don't have a sim card here but this is actually the record button and you can actually record the calls with this and once you have recorded that if you just go here to the call recordings you'll get access to all the calls that you have recorded so this functionality is kind of built in in this device and i find it really convenient and you can also hide the dial pad if you want to access the call logs like this. Let me just get out of this one. Another thing that I like is how fluid this is this UI. As you can see, it's a very fluid UI and it performs brilliantly even on the Zenfone 4, which is a budget oriented device. And here also we do have some options. For example, if you see by default, it is showing us all the apps. But if I just click here, it'll just show me the downloaded apps that we have downloaded from the uh, Google Play Store. And this is the frequent. These are the frequent apps that you're using. So this is nice. Apart from this, if you click here, we have an option to actually lock the apps. So this is nice functionality. Let's go to lock app settings first and let's set it up. Let's set up a password. Let's say our password is one, two, three, four and we'll add that. So this is our password. And now actually we can lock the apps. And let's just go back and here, now if we use the option called lock apps, it'll ask us to enter the password that we entered, that is one, two, three, four. And now, as you can see, uh, all these apps are open and we can actually lock them. Let's say we do not want anybody to access our messaging app. You can just click here and now it is actually locked. If you press okay now, as you can see now, uh, these are the normal apps that we have. But now if we go to our messaging, it shows you the lock icon. And if you tap on it, it will ask you for the password. If you enter the correct password, it will allow us to open it. So I like this uh, functionality that is built in with this app. Yes, we can uh, add this functionality with third party apps on other Android devices. But it's nice to have this built in with the UI. And from here, actually, you can access the widgets normally. So that's one nice feature that I like. Now, if we move to the settings also, here also we do have some options. If you just go here to the settings and here in the power management, uh, the first one is the power uh, saver mode. I won't talk about that a lot, but here, if you go to the power consumption table, this is pretty interesting. It gives you the entire statistics of which app is using the most battery life. So if you are having some battery life issues and let's say some uh, app is misbehaving, you can uh, figure out that using this app. And you also have a drop down menu over here. You can sort it by CPU total, the CPU background, how many times a, a app is uh, doing a wake up, etc. So this is a nice built in functionality that is provided by this UI. Again, if you go back to the settings, we also have this ASUS customized settings 
and here uh, we can change the screenshot format to jpeg or ping that is pretty simple but apart from that uh, you also have this app installation setting that is pretty interesting and uh, if you add a micro sd card uh, in that you can uh, set the preferred location to the sd card not every app will be installed in the sd card but it will try to install most of the apps now to the external storage that is the sd card and as you can see i have enabled that option and it works i would say pretty well so again this is a nice option also if you are in a cold country we do have the glove mode and if you enable that uh, the screen sensitivity becomes even more and you can operate it with the glove so that's also nice you also have uh, this key setting for example if you hold this uh, what do you say uh, multitasking button uh, for a while what happens you can change that if you would like so that option is also provided so these were some of the settings that I liked on this custom UI that is called as Asus Zen UI. Uh, these are some of my favorites. Again, there are a ton of other small uh, tweaks here and there on this Asus Zen Phone 5. So if you have your favorites, do let me know in the comment section. And if you found this video helpful, I'll appreciate if you can click the like button. I've already produced the review for this Asus Zen Phone 4 as well as this Zen Phone 5. Links for those videos will be in the YouTube show notes. Thank you for watching this video. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Yeah.